Okay, let's take a look now at Matthew uh, chapter 20, verse 26 and 27. Verse 26, But it shall not be so among you, but whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. And whosoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant. Uh, Radical statement. Yeah. Now, who's talking? Jesus. And he's talking to who? His disciples. Yes. So, um, he, he's saying, uh, if you want to be the great one out of all the Christians, what are you supposed to do? Be the minister. The minister, the servant. Now, if you go to some other translations, the word is translated as servant. We're all supposed to be servants. Every Christian is supposed to be a servant, a minister. Sometimes people ask me, are you a minister? I say, oh yeah. Every Christian is a minister. Some are not doing, doing much with their ministry, you know. But we're all called to serve Jesus Christ. We're all supposed to be servants of His. And He, he gave us an example when He washed your feet. And he said, no, don't, Peter, I can't let you wash my feet. And he, he, Jesus insisted, and he said, I'm doing this as an example. If Jesus Christ would wash the feet of his apostles, showing us humility and servitude as an example, then every Christian should be willing to um, submit and serve. Humble yourselves and serve others. And if anyone deserved to be served, would have been Jesus, He's God Almighty. Yes. And uh, He came down and, and he, he served us. Yeah. He gave us His life. Yeah. Now, uh, I, I'm sure that there's a lot of Christians out there that don't have a uh, like an active ministry. Uh, they don't know. They just don't know how to get started or what to do. Uh, but every Christian is supposed to uh, uh, have some part in this. So let's move on to 1 Corinthians 12, verse 12 through 31. For as the body is one, and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. For by one Spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one Spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, Because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear shall say, Because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? But now hath God set the members, every one of them, in the body as it hath pleased him. And if they were all one member, where were the body? But now are they many members, yet but one body? And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of you. Nay, much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary, and those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, upon these we bestow more abundant honor, and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. For our comely parts have no need, but God hath tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to that part which lacketh, that there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it, or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now we are the body of Christ, and members in particular. And God hath set some in the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healing, helps, governments, diversity of tongues, are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, are all workers of miracles, have all the gifts of healing, do all speak with tongues, do all interpret, but covet earnestly the best gifts, and yet show I unto you a more excellent way. 
that's a, a wonderful it's yeah, that's something worth reading over and over and over again and really studying and meditating on well, what's your you know if you had to put that in your own words um I see here that uh um, Christ is the head we're the members of his body he's given us uh, each different spiritual gifts to use them to uh, bring glory to God to minister um, when, to you God. Say, when you say we are the members we are the parts what do you mean by we the church the church every Christian yes so the church is, is that a building on the corner on the no. side no what's the church then the body the church is people the church is all the believers the believers anybody who is a believer who have uh, repented which means that you've uh, you've gone from not believing to believing on Jesus and once that happened you were born again the Holy Spirit of God lives inside you it made you into a child of God and you are part of the church it's made up of people not buildings okay so this is talking about all the sealed different people in the body of Christ were sealed until the day of redemption. Um, so this is talking about all the different types of functions that we should all have as part of this body, right? But uh, now, Frank, you know I know that uh, your biggest function is being a mouth, right? You go out in front of the Blasio Hotel and you go on YouTube and you talk and you teach. So part of your function is to be a mouth. Someone else, maybe they're not skilled or are confident in speaking, but maybe they can be the feet or the hands. But it says every part is important, and we should all be working together to uh, for the uh, for the benefit of the whole. And if no matter how how uh, big or small the part is, they all have equal value. And when one is honored, they all get honored. And when one's hurt, they all feel hurt. That's right. Okay, so uh, every person, if you don't know what to do, if you don't know how to serve Jesus, I suggest you continually pray and ask Jesus to re reveal the ministry. He has a plan for your life. Every person uh, has, you have a purpose first to become a child of God, and if you were born again and you're a child of God, the next purpose for you is to find out your ministry. Find out what Jesus wants you to do, and then get busy doing it. Okay?